Boeing, a name synonymous with the aviation industry, has built its legacy on the principles of innovation and pioneering new frontiers. Embodying the ethos of its founder, science and hard work can lick what appear to be insurmountable difficulties. Boeing's story is one of relentless pursuit of the unexplored. Guided by the conviction that the sky is not the limit, Boeing continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, driven by the pioneering spirit that it can be done. William Boeing, who founded the company, epitomized the fusion of scientific innovation and uncompromising effort. His pioneering ethos laid the foundation for Boeing's groundbreaking advancements in aviation, which revolutionized global connectivity. The ability for anyone to buy a ticket to anywhere in the world was sparked by Boeing's intense curiosity and work ethic. The 100-year journey has not been without turbulence. The rise of Boeing is a story punctuated by moments of world-changing invention and life-ending mistakes. As we explore Boeing's historical significance, we confront the paradoxes of its ascent. A drive for innovation that sometimes clouded judgment, a fight for market supremacy that raised ethical questions, and a corporate identity that shifted in struggle for succession. We will examine the factors that contributed to Boeing's meteoric rise and the challenges that led to its moments of crisis, from monopolistic accusations in its early years to espionage and intense competition at the turn of the century. Boeing's history reflects the complexities of navigating success and ethics in a cutthroat industry. Boeing is a company that ascended smoothly for nearly a century. At incredible heights, it now struggles against crosswinds that have created jarring turbulence for its passengers. The company's commitment to innovation, safety, and integrity will define the way it continues to change the world for the next hundred years. Act 1 the soaring beginnings. In the early 1900s, taking flight seemed like nothing but a wild attempt made by the Wright brothers. It certainly wasn't on the mind of a young man named William Boeing. Abandoning his academic pursuits at Yale University in 1903, William ventured into the booming timber industry. William was not a talker, and he was anxious to dive into the industry that his late father had pioneered. Boeing's bet on himself paid off, and his entrepreneurial flair led him to Seattle, where he rapidly ascended to success as a timber magnate. In the early 1900s, timber was big money, reaching into the hundreds of millions by today's standards. Boeing's leveraged the newly opened Panama Canal to ship his products to the East Coast. Little did he know, his destiny was to soar much higher, beyond the tree line and into the boundless sky. In 1909, a pivotal moment altered Boeing's trajectory. Seattle hosted a World's Fair, and William was captivated by the spectacle of a manned flying machine. The moment he saw the machine take off, he experienced a profound fascination with aviation. He immediately enrolled in a Los Angeles flight school and obtained a pilot's license. He even bought a plane from the school and brought an instructor back to Seattle, where he immersed himself in the hobby. The design of early flying machines were janky at best, and Boeing was a very impatient man when it came to his interests. His transition from a passive observer to an aviation pioneer was driven by sheer frustration. He found himself spending more time waiting for mechanics to repair his plane than actually flying. As Boeing's frustration built into rage, he turned to his friend George and made a bold claim. We could build a better plane ourselves and build it faster. Boeing's words, fueled by frustration, were another bet on himself. Again, it paid off. Alongside George Conrad Westervelt, a naval engineer, he designed the B&W seaplane in 1916. Their synergy birthed Pacific Aero Products Company in a converted boat factory in Seattle. This initiative soon evolved into the Boeing Airplane Company, when it became clear to Boeing that a war would launch a new industry more lucrative than timber, aviation. America's entrance into World War I in 1917 was a catalyst for Boeing's takeoff. The United States Navy, recognizing the strategic value of air power, ordered 50 planes from Boeing. This contract was a testament to Boeing's emerging significance in aviation and defense, laying the groundwork for profiting off war. 
Boeing rode the wave of his military contracting success into times of peace. Post-World War I, he ventured deeper into commercial aviation. In 1919, the company accomplished the first international air mail delivery. Boeing's seaplane carried 60 letters from Vancouver, Canada to Lake Union outside of Seattle. The event marked the company's entry into commercial aviation, an industry it would dominate hand over fist. Boeing Airplane Company played an important role in the war and continued to change the world by ramping up communications. The 1920s roared with the expansion of airmail routes, which William Boeing astutely recognized as the blueprint for future passenger air travel networks. Once the company figured out how to transport a large group of people, it would capitalize on this network to build out a supporting airport infrastructure. The company's innovations were so brilliant they could thrive off the chaos of war and adapted to the changing world effortlessly. However, not everyone recognized Boeing as a brave pioneer or entrepreneurial genius. As the 1930s unfolded, Boeing faced significant governmental scrutiny who started to see the tycoon as more of a tyrant. The company's market dominance had grown to such an extent that it led to the Air Mail Act of 1934. This legislation, aimed at curbing monopolistic practices in the aviation industry, compelled Boeing to undergo a major restructuring. The company was divided into Boeing Airplane Company, United Airlines, and United Aircraft Corporation. This restructuring, initially seen as a hurdle, actually catapulted Boeing into a new realm of possibilities. It was a strategic turning point, propelling the company to explore new frontiers, far beyond the reach of those grounded in traditional views of aviation. In William Boeing's personal life, his marriage to Bertha Potter Peschall, a wealthy divorcee, marked a significant blending of his family, high society, and the world of aviation. In William Boeing's family, aviation was a shared passion. His stepsons took roles in manufacturing, mirroring the family's legacy, while his biological son, William Jr., became a skilled pilot. Nat Jr., the oldest stepson, made an intriguing career choice by joining Douglas Aviation, Boeing's main competitor. Was this a subtle jab at his stepdad, or a plant in a rival factory? Nat Jr.'s true intentions may have been overlooked by William and Bertha's questionable use of influence. They played a significant role in developing new communities around Boeing's factories in Seattle during the 1930s and 40s. In these communities, they enforced racial restrictions, forbidding the sale or release of properties to anyone not of the white or Caucasian race, except for non-whites employed as domestic servants. Boeing turned to property development, purchasing a 650-acre farm east of Seattle, named Aldara, which eventually became a golf course community in 2001. This aspect of Boeing's life reflects a stark contrast to his pioneering spirit in aviation, revealing a complex and often controversial aspect of power and privilege. Although some of Boeing's side ventures into real estate were divisive, his achievements in aviation continued to connect common people across the world. The company embarked on an ambitious project, the Boeing 707, which was originally intended as a military refueler, but was destined to become an iconic aircraft for commercial travel. The 707's first demonstration flight in 1954 was Boeing's personal encore. Two years before his death, his work had birthed the dawn of the jet age. The 707's impressive speed, range, and passenger capacity drew worldwide attention. The U.S. Air Force recognized its potential and kick-started bidding wars by ordering 29 of its military variant, the KC-135 tanker. Pan American World Airways followed with an order of 20 Boeing 707s, committing to a major shift in commercial air travel. Ten years prior, Pan Am had made the largest order in commercial aviation at the time, paying $24.5 million for 20 Strata cruisers. The 707 became a staple for American Airlines on both domestic and transatlantic routes throughout the 1960s. This evolution in air travel necessitated significant changes in airport design worldwide accommodating the new reality of commercial air travel for the general public. William Boeing turned a four-day train ride from New York to San Francisco into a few luxurious hours in the sky. His remarkable journey came to an end on September 28, 1956, just shy of his 75th birthday. William Boeing passed away from a heart attack aboard his yacht, Taconite, in Puget Sound, Washington. 
In a fitting tribute to his love for the sea, his ashes were scattered off the coast of British Columbia. His journey from an old boat factory to a titan of the skies established his legacy. The 707 embodying his vision that Boeing as a company would carry forward. Act two, innovation and dominance. In the mid 20th century, Boeing continued to alter the landscape of commercial aviation with the 747. This colossal aircraft, often affectionately called the jumbo jet, revolutionized air travel. With its distinct hump and immense size, the 747 was a symbol of a new era. Its introduction marked the true beginning of mass long-haul travel, making the world more accessible than ever. The 747's spacious cabin and extended range turned international journeys from elite experiences into realistic options for business people and average Americans. The Boeing 747 didn't just change how people traveled, it redefined why they traveled, ushering in an unprecedented era of global connectivity and cultural exchange. In parallel to its dominance in commercial aviation, Boeing expanded its horizons into the realms of space and defense. Only a decade after the founder's death, the company was helping put men on the moon. Boeing's engineers played a crucial role in the space race, contributing significantly to NASA's Apollo program. Boeing was truly a remarkable company in that it never took its foot off the gas. It went from boating to aircraft to space rockets and missiles. By developing key components of the Saturn V rocket, Boeing underscored its technical expertise and strategic value in space exploration. At the same time, Boeing's advancements in military aviation, marked by the development of jet fighters and helicopters, further cemented its status as a leader in aerospace technology. Boeing's ability to innovate and foresee strategic diversification into different sectors showcased the notion that William Boeing's intense entrepreneurial spirit had lived on within the company. Boeing was dominating as if the founder had never passed away. However, William's physical absence may have allowed for the erosion of company ethics. It seemed the insatiable drive for innovation brought on complex challenges and controversies. The company once again faced accusations of monopolistic practices and unethical business behavior, particularly in its dealings with competitors and government contracts. The 1997 merger with McDonnell Douglas, a former rival, was a strategic move that brought in Boeing's capabilities but also led to clashes in corporate culture and ethical standards. This period saw Boeing embroiled in legal battles and facing public scrutiny, testing the company's resilience and ethical compass. Despite these challenges, Boeing continued to innovate and expand. The company ventured into new markets and pursued technological advancements like drones and high-powered lasers, maintaining its position at the forefront of aerospace development. Significant milestones included the introduction of the 787 Dreamliner, which faced initial setbacks but ultimately set new standards in efficiency and passenger comfort. The 787 set new distance records, making a non-stop flight from Brisbane to Chicago possible. Boeing's evolution over these decades reflects a complex tapestry of ambition, innovation, and the occasional ethical dilemma, painting a picture of a company perpetually striving to reach new heights in aerospace and beyond. Act 3. Troubles on the Horizon for the first time in the 1990s, Boeing dealt with stiff competition as Airbus emerged as a formidable rival. They were no longer the only elite players in the aviation industry. Airbus's innovative designs, such as the A320 with its pioneering fly-by-wire technology, and the massive A380 directly challenged Boeing's position as the industry standard. This rivalry was not just technological, but also financial. In the late 1990s, Boeing's once unchallenged market share began to wane as Airbus made significant inroads. Financial reports from this period reflect a turbulent time for Boeing, with $200 million loss in profits for 1997. It signaled the need for strategic recalibration in the face of this new competitive landscape. 
During this period, Boeing's internal culture underwent a significant transformation. The company, historically celebrated for its engineering-first approach, found itself influenced by market pressures. This shift led to strategic decisions that often prioritized cost-cutting and short-term financial goals over long-term innovation and quality. In order to maintain their dominance, leadership at Boeing started cutting corners, and the results would be catastrophic. The effects of a toxic atmosphere were palpable in the production challenges that Boeing faced. Notably, the ambitious Boeing production system aimed at streamlining operations led to delays and quality issues. Designers were expected to push out blueprints at twice the normal rate, and supply chains could not meet such demands. These setbacks not only impacted Boeing financially, but also tarnished its reputation for reliability and excellence. Boeing was starting to descend after pioneering and leading the industry for eight decades. They were feeling the pressure of new competitors and a skeptical side-eye from regulators. This scrutiny caused them to fumble and further complicate its reputation with legal and ethical challenges. One of the most notable incidents was the case involving Darlene Druyun a former U.S. Air Force official. Drew Yoon was implicated in a procurement scandal where she admitted to favoring Boeing in military contracts as part of a job negotiation process for herself. This scandal, which came to light in the early 2000s, led to Drew Yoon's nine-year imprisonment and significant fallout for Boeing, including the resignation of its CFO, Michael Sears and over $75 million in penalties for inflating government contracts. This malpractice from a former military leader was particularly nefarious, as the events of September 11th put another major war on the horizon. Although the dishonesty cost Boeing over $1 billion in potential revenue, the company was able to pay up major aerospace and defense companies like Hughes Space and Communications Company for $3.75 billion in cash. Another major ethical challenge for Boeing was the espionage case involving Lockheed Martin. In 2003, as an invasion launched in Iraq, Boeing was accused of possessing nearly 30,000 pages of confidential documents belonging to Lockheed Martin. The secret information was used to gain an unfair advantage in a rocket launch competition. Boeing won the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle Competition, along with nearly 70% of the associated launch contracts. This led to legal action against Boeing, resulting in the loss of several defense contracts and a temporary ban from bidding on future contracts. These incidents not only led to legal repercussions, but also called into question Boeing's corporate governance and ethical standards. They pushed Boeing to implement more rigorous internal controls and oversight. If you get caught cheating, join them, right? Three years after the espionage scandal, Boeing partnered with Lockheed Martin to form United Launch Alliance. Was this an extension of an olive branch or active gaslighting in order to maintain a monopoly on an industry that would eventually hit just under a trillion dollars in revenue sales? Act 4 the 21st century crisis. In true fashion of the company's founder, a rough start didn't slow down ambitions. Boeing's controversies in the early 2000s did not prevent its technological leap with the development of the 787 Dreamliner. This aircraft was envisioned as a revolution in long-haul travel, boasting unmatched efficiency, comfort, and advanced technology. However, the path from concept to reality was riddled with obstacles, primarily due to an intricate global supply chain and unforeseen complexities in manufacturing. The Dreamliner's delay not only represented a significant technical hurdle, but also a considerable financial strain, with Boeing incurring approximately $32 billion in production costs by 2011, far exceeding the initial budget. The financial strain was compounded by compensation claims from airlines for delivery delays. In 2013, the aviation industry was rocked by battery fire incidents aboard several 787 Dreamliners. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, enforced a global grounding of the fleet, a move that lasted for months. Boeing faced not only the costs of redesigning the battery system, but also additional compensation claims from airlines. Subsequent investigations severely affected Boeing's order book, 
with significant cancellations and deferred orders. The repercussions of succeeding at all costs pointed Boeing directly into crosswinds, creating a jarring sense of turbulence that only got worse after the Boeing 737 MAX tragedies. The Lion Air Flight 610 crash in October 2018 and the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 four months later had profound consequences, and the blame lay on Boeing. Both crashes were linked to the MCAS system, where a terrifying bug in the software caused jets to plummet to the ground nose down. This nightmare scenario led to the worldwide grounding of the 737 MAX fleet. The grounding, one of the longest in aviation history, had significant financial repercussions. Boeing reported an estimated $20 billion in costs related to the 737 MAX crisis, including production slowdowns and compensation to families and airlines. Aside from the loss of innocent lives, the most significant damage for Boeing was the marred reputation and loss of trust from regulators, airlines, and the general public who boarded their aircrafts. In the wake of the Dreamliner and 737 MAX crises, Boeing faced another alarming incident in January 2024. An Alaska Airlines flight experienced a frightening event when part of the plane, a 737 MAX, detached at 14,000 feet, creating a heart-stopping ordeal for passengers as the dislodged section created a thunderous reverberation while air rushed into the cabin and snatched away everything from cell phones to clothing off passengers. In poor fashion, Boeing CEO Dan Calhoun used aviation jargon to downplay the incident as a quality escape. Yes, he actually referred to a door flying off mid-flight as a level of quality that escaped. No one was disillusioned by this bizarre apology, and regulators pointed to serious lapses in quality control at Boeing. In fact, nine more planes across the globe were found to have the same faulty bolt that compromised the Alaskan Airlines flight. It was far too reminiscent of the issues that led to the grounding of the 737 MAX in 2019. To the credit of Boeing's CEO, Dave Calhoun, he acknowledged the company's role in this latest mishap. Unlike the previous hesitations, Boeing's quick acceptance of responsibility signaled a shift in the company's approach. The FAA allowed the variant of the 737 MAX 9 with the door plug to fly again, but restricted Boeing from expanding its 737 MAX production until it resolved the quality control issues. This restriction and the ongoing investigation into the incident will likely delay deliveries and impact Boeing's financials. The company's executives, including CFO Brian West, anticipate generating about $100 billion in annual sales by 2025 or 2026, aiming to restore financial strength after several years of losses. Boeing's plans for recovery involve boosting jetliner production to pay down debt, with the possibility of returning dividends or buybacks to investors by 2026. However, the Alaska Airlines incident and the continued scrutiny from regulatory bodies add complexity to this path forward. China's role in the aviation market, expected to be dominant for the next two decades, has given Boeing a glimmer of hope. Despite its challenges, Boeing saw a slight stock value increase at the end of 2023, partly due to China's continued interest in the company's aircraft. This interest from a key market player suggests a potential avenue for Boeing's recovery, despite its recent reputational challenges. As Boeing navigates these turbulent times, its commitment to safety, quality, and rebuilding trust remains crucial. The company's future success will depend not only on its financial strategies and market performance, but also on regaining the confidence of passengers, airlines, and regulators worldwide. Conclusion The Fall and Future William Boeing's story as a corporate titan is a reflection of a man's dedication to pushing boundaries and exploring new horizons. His legacy, marked by both groundbreaking achievements and controversial practices, continues to shape the world. His profound belief that science and hard work can lick what appear to be insurmountable difficulties became the ethos of a $120 billion company, a company that had changed the world three times over by channeling curiosity into innovation through hard work. In the late 20th century, Boeing Company's relentless pursuit of new frontiers blurred ethical boundaries, 
with accusations of monopolistic practices and espionage and an insatiable quest for dominance? Will the ideals of its founder continue to guide it amidst modern challenges? As Boeing regains control from years of turbulence, it must balance ambition with responsibility. As we look across tarmacs and space stations, Boeing remains a towering symbol of American industrial ingenuity and the enduring power of hard work and innovation.